tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone in your presence Lord. Holy Spirit you are welcome here come flood this place and fill the atmosphere your glory Your 
for you to go away the sting of death. You took away the sting of hopelessness and despair. You took away the sting of death. Oh, death has no hold. Death has no hold. Death, where is your sting? You took away the sting of death.
are an 
It's our affection, our devotion poured out on the feet of Jesus. Our affection, our devotion poured out on the feet of Jesus. We love you. Oh, how we love you. Yes, Jesus, we declare that you are the one that our hearts adore. That it's our pleasure and it's our delight. It's our privilege to come before you, to find ourselves in your presence and confess to you once again that you are the one that we desire. You're the one that makes all the difference. That we have no regrets in laying down our lives to follow you. We thank you, Jesus. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. At this time, we'll transition into a time of intercession on behalf of North Korea. North Korea is a nation that we have been continuously contending for in the place of prayer and in faith. And this morning, we'll be declaring and Isaiah 60 transformation over the land in North Korea. So as I lead out in prayer, I'd like you to come into agreement with my prayer and follow it with your own intercession. First, we'll pray for the spirit of healing to be over the land. Father, we have heard of testimonies in the past of a nation turning to you for their hope and you, in turn, bringing about supernatural transformation over a nation. We come to you knowing that while there is no life outside of you, in your name there is life and life abundant. We know that you are able to heal and revive a land that has been plagued by famine for decades and turn it into a place of fruitfulness and abundance. You are able to turn what has been cursed into something that is blessed and you're able to touch what is sick and broken and bring it to wholeness and abundance. As people suffer of starvation and malnutrition in times of famine this winter, would you turn your ear towards their cries and heal their land? May we hear of supernatural testimonies of provision and change. May you bring your spirit of healing and wash over the land in North Korea. Let's pray.
Second, we'll be praying for the spirit of hope to be over the youth and the nation of North Korea. Holy Spirit, we long to see a new generation of youth that know that there's more in store for them. A generation that is not defined by a history of brokenness and hardship, but one that believes in transformation and change that is only possible through your hands. We pray that whatever the enemy has sought to steal away from there, their hope, their destiny, their future, that all those things would not only be restored unto them, but multiplied a hundredfold. We pray in faith for a new generation of youth that isn't given over to hopelessness and a spirit of futility, but one that yearns for transformation as you plant a seed of hope in their hearts. We prophesy that what you have for them is a hope and a future, that you would teach them how to dream the dreams of God once again. Would you unlock destinies in the youth? Would you bring healing and deliverance and plant a hope in them that is unshakable even throughout times of trials? Let's pray.
We will pray for a spirit of revival to be over the church in North Korea. Father, we thank you for the church that you have established in North Korea, a church that has stood their ground for decades in the face of persecution, a church that has refused to bend to intimidation and fear, that has laid down their life for the furthering of the kingdom in the same way that Jesus laid down his life. This is a glorious beautiful, powerful, single-minded bride that you have consecrated for yourself, one that is victorious in the face of death. We pray that your church will continue to flourish and gain momentum, not forsaking the joy that they have found in you, that there may be a spirit of revival washing over your church even right now as they trust in your supernatural provision and strength, as they operate in the, in the power of the Holy Spirit May the gospel be established and your kingdom be expanded over this nation that what cannot be done by man would be accomplished by the power of the Holy Spirit at work through his church. Let's pray. pray for a spirit of resurrection to be over the nation in North Korea. Father, help us to stay alert and awake to the times as the day of reunification draws closer and closer. May your spirit of resurrection wash over this land. 
bringing forth new life and transformation only made possible by your hand, that what was once dead would come alive. We prophesy that every scheme and every strategy designed by the enemy for this nation's destruction will turn around for the greater glory of God, that he would write the story of redemption and power in such a way that all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise would be to Jesus Christ, our Lord. We come against the spirit of death and violence. We ask that you would release life and restoration over this broken land. We believe in a God of miracles and resurrection one that is able to take dry bones and make an army, take ashes and turn them into beauty, one that can take what is dead and bring it back into life. Holy Spirit, breathe afresh over North Korea, that you would hear, that we would hear these signs of life and change looming closer than ever before. Let's pray. His 
God, we believe that what seems impossible in the flesh, you alone are able to accomplish. At the end of the day, we choose to place our trust not in chariots, in armies, and strategies, but in the arm of the Lord God Almighty. One word from you can change everything. One thought can bring down kingdoms and raise them up. We trust that you are moving in the nation of North Korea. You are moving your spirit of resurrection in the nation of North Korea. And we lift this up to you with anticipation for the full measure of your outpouring and transformation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Don't let my roots 
go down deep, unmovable and unshakable in you. I want to be unmovable and unshakable, so let my roots go down deep, unmovable and unshakable in you. meditate day and night on your word, on your truth, that we may go deeper, that we may be planted and rooted deeper in you, God, so that when storms come, when the winds come, when the waves come, Lord, that we are not shaken, that we are found steady, we're, stand, we're found faithful in you, God. We thank you, Lord that your name is love, and that because of this, you've saved us. Because of this, you've given us hope. You've given us everything that we need for life and godliness, because you love us, God. Lord, let us sing a new song back to you out of thankfulness for who you are and what you've done for us, God. We love you, Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for coming out uh, this Wednesday morning. Hope you enjoyed a sweet time in the Lord's presence and in the Word. Um, yeah, we invite you to come out tomorrow evening for another watch at 8 p.m. or again next Wednesday morning. Have a great week.